The Duomo, the Uffizi Gallery, and the Ponte Vecchio are some of Florence's most famous sites. But our goal is to show you the city's lesser-known gems that are just as beautiful, but don't get as much attention. From secret chapels with beautiful frescoes to charming neighborhoods and squares that aren't easily reached, Florence's hidden gems are sure to surprise and delight even the most experienced travelers. Number 1. The Stigrick Museum and Garden In Florence, the Stigrick Museum and Garden is a secret gem that shows off the extensive collection of Frederick Stibbert, an art lover and avid traveler. Armor, weapons, costumes, and art from many countries and times are displayed in this amazing museum, taking visitors on an interesting journey through history. Visitors can enjoy the collection's finer features by exploring the villa's rooms, which have been carefully kept up. The museum's beautiful park, complete with statues, fountains, and rare plants, is also a peaceful haven in the middle of the busy city. Exploring the Stibbert Museum and Garden is a great way to learn about Florence's hidden historical and artistic gems. Number 2. The Bargello Museum Many people in the area have a personal connection to the Bargello Museum. It is a refuge for sculpture and art from the Renaissance, hidden inside the Bargello Palace from the Middle Ages. You can find the work of great artists like Michelangelo, Donatello, and Cellini inside its walls. Every piece brings the past to life, from the smooth marble shapes to the fine brushstrokes. You can look around the museum and see many different kinds of art, such as jewelry, textiles, and ceramics. Because the Bargello Museum is small, you can get away from the busy people and really enjoy the history and beauty of Florence. Number 3. The Opera Duomo Museum It's easy to miss this one. The Opera Duomo Museum is a treasure trove of Florence's most beautiful Renaissance art and architecture. This museum, which is close to the Florence Cathedral, is a fascinating look into the city's history. Inside, people can be amazed by sculptures from the cathedral's front that were made by famous artists like Donatello and Michelangelo. The museum also has the beautiful Gates of Paradise, which are the original doors of the baptistry that Lorenzo Ghiberti made so skillfully. Guests can really get into the interesting history and building of the Florence Cathedral through hands-on exhibits and multimedia shows. The Opera Duomo Museum is calm and not crowded like other popular attractions in Florence. This lets tourists fully enjoy the hidden gems of the city's art and history. Number 4. Klet Street Art You should take the time to see Klet Street Art while you're in Tuscany. It's a less well-known part of Florence's lively art scene. It shows off the one-of-a-kind and thought-provoking work of French artist Klet Abraham. Through his creative changes to street signs, Abraham adds his own artistic touch to signs all over Florence, a city full of secret gems. His changed signs fit in perfectly with the busy and historic cityscape, giving people in Florence, Italy, a fun way to look at the streets. By looking at Klet Street Art, tourists can find secret gems among the city's famous Renaissance art, architectural masterpieces like the Florence Cathedral and its famous dome, and the luxurious Palazzo Pitti. It gives you a new and interesting look at Florence's artistic history. It's not your typical tour, and it shows you how artistically interesting every part of the city is. Number 5. Dance House Museum In the middle of Florence, Dance House Museum tells interesting stories about the life and works of Dante Alighieri, one of Italy's most famous writers. A collection of artifacts, manuscripts, and letters from Dant reveal his literary talent in this fascinating hidden gem. It shows off his famous divine comedy and other literary masterpieces. You could get lost in Dant's creative process and daily life as you walk through the rooms where he used to write. This museum is a must-see for literature and history fans alike, with temporary exhibits that look at how Dante's works have affected culture. It gives a unique look into the memory of this great Italian artist. Number 6. Savonarola's Convent Cell A gem waiting to be found in the middle of Florence, the city of the Renaissance, is Savonarola's Convent Cell. Girolamo Savonarola was a famous friar in Florence's history. This lesser-known treasure gives us a unique look into his life and beliefs. The cell is hidden inside the convent of San Marco and has beautiful frescoes and other art that show scenes from Savonarola's life and religious views. As you move through the cell, you will feel like you have gone back in time and are in the place where Savonarola lived, learned, and preached. Away from the crowds and well-known sights, this hidden gem is an interesting off-the-beaten-path experience that shows off Florence's rich past. The convent cell of Savonarola is one of the most interesting secret gems in Florence. It has ties to both the Medici era and the Renaissance. Number 7. Archaeological Museum It's an institution that the Archaeological Museum lets you learn about Florence's long past, 
which goes back even further than the famous Renaissance. This museum is a must-see for history buffs because it has so many old relics and archaeological finds. Explore the riches of the Etruscan, Roman, and Egyptian cultures as you look at statues, mosaics, pottery, and jewelry from different times. Find out more about Florence's history by learning about the Roman stage and the Baths of Diocletian. The Archaeological Museum is an important part of your Florence itinerary because it gives you a unique look into the old world. Number 8. Or Samichel Or Samichel is an interesting place to visit because it has history, art, and beautiful architecture. This one-of-a-kind church stands out with its intricate sculptures and detailed exterior. It used to be a grain market. When you walk inside, the original medieval figures that used to stand on the building's front will take you back in time. Don't miss the chance to look around the small museum. It has many artifacts and works of art that have to do with Or Saint Michel's past. This hidden gem is an attraction that people often miss. It lets them explore Florence's rich cultural history off the beaten road. Number 9. Photo Automatica One take a selfie on the spot. Come use this old picture booth that has been here for decades and that people in the area love. This photo booth will give you four beautiful pictures that you can keep as a sweet memory on a beautiful black and white film from the old days. Sit in the box, slide in a few coins, and get ready to pose when the countdown starts. You'll feel like a real old Hollywood star. Number 10. San Miniato San Miniato is a historic church in Florence that sits on a hill with stunning views of famous buildings like the Duomo and Ponte Vecchio. Anyone who sees this gem will get a new view of how beautiful Florence is. Climbing to the top of the church's bell tower gives you an amazing view of the whole area. The inside of San Miniato has beautiful marble work, paintings, and mosaics that make it a peaceful place to think. San Miniato is a must-see on your trip to Florence. It is thought to be one of the best examples of Romanesque buildings in Tuscany. Number 11. Basilica di San Lorenzo The city's Renaissance secrets can be found in the Basilica di San Lorenzo. It is important to art and history because it is one of the oldest buildings. The Medici family paid for this building masterpiece, which shows how smart Brunelleschi and Michelangelo were. It always amazes us with its stunning frescoes, carvings, and small but important details. The Medici Chapel is where the beautiful tombs of the powerful Medici family are kept, and the Laurentian Library has an amazing collection of books and papers from the Renaissance. Basilica de San Lorenzo is a hidden gem that will take you on a trip through Florence's rich artistic and cultural history. Number 12. Piazza Santo Spirito The old Toronto neighborhood is home to Piazza Santo Spirito. This charming square gives you a feel for how people live in the city. As you walk through the square's cafes, bars, and restaurants, take in the lively scene and feel like you're really in Florence. The Basilica di Santo Spirito, a gem of architecture by Filippo Brunelleschi, is the focal point of Piazza Santo Spirito. As you look at the beautiful Renaissance church, think about Florence's long past and artistic legacy. Don't miss the daily market. It has a lot of fresh food, flowers, and handmade goods from around the area. At Piazza Santo Spirito, you can take a break, watch people, and get a feel for what Florence is really like. Just like you can with the other places we've mentioned, make sure to check them all out. Which of these places would you pick as your hidden gem? We'd be excited to hear from you, so make sure to drop your thoughts in the comments section. And of course, thanks for watching. A like for this video and subscribing to our channel will surely be appreciated.